Love in its simplicity is pure and unconditional. John Yusuf Muhammad Nuruddin tells the story of two lovers who are defying all odds and moving shoulder to shoulder to sell coconut on the streets of Kwadaso, a suburb of Kumasi. The pain of poverty and uncertainty about the future doesn't discourage the enthusiasm to live together. Um, actually, my name is Samuel Kofume Sam. I locally name as uh, Nyameche. Kofi Nyameche, yes, please. Um, I'm from Mabredun, let me say, but um, I was born in Western, um, Eastern region, sorry. That is Achim, yeah. Um, my name is Amwako Esther. My name is Amwako Esther. I am 22 years. I completed 3DM Senior High School. I was working with a grand mall at Peki. Even on the streets, Esther Amwako and Samuel Kofi Mensa don't conceal their mutual love. They are just 22 and 24 years old, respectively. They have both completed senior high school, but were unable to continue because of financial difficulties. But how did Esther and Samuel meet? Um, actually, I was having a best friend then when I was staying at um, Asafo. So my best friend was dating um, um, her um, younger sister. So I saw a post um, or a picture of them together. And then I told the, the girlfriend that, oh no, this is your senior sister, I want to be with her. And she was like, um, some nigga be, uh, did something bad to her, so she doesn't want to date again. Then I talked to her and said, oh, okay, for me, I will let you have believe in men. I like him because he's hardworking. He does everything he can for a living. He also treats me so nicely. A strong relationship requires choosing to love each other even in moments when you struggle to love yourselves. Namicha has been with me too thick and thin. I don't like keeping sugar daddies. We do not know the source of your wealth. And these sugar daddies can kill you. Both of them worked with two different organizations. Samuel received 400 CDs, whereas Esther had an income of 750 CDs. But as the love bears were getting much stronger in strengthening their financial capabilities, a storm hit. Both were fired the same day. Um, and one sad truth was, when I was um, laid out from the company, my wife was, okay, let's say my girlfriend, was also laid out the same very day. She was also laid out, and then, and the story was so sad, the story was, uh, she was, she was given 272 CDs for um, laying her out, and then me, I wasn't given anything. So I wasn't having any penny in my account, and then, um, I talked to my, my woman, and said, my girlfriend, and then she was like, oh, so what are we going to do about this? I wasn't having anything in my account. My momo, I was even owing MTA momo. I was owing them. And then the girl was having 200 and, 230 in her account. And then um, she was giving that 272 to two. So, ah, father, father, father. Uh, so in surplus, she was having 402 CDs or something, and then due to that, we just need to redraw the money so we can start with a um, new business. They dedicate a lot of their time on the streets selling coconut to further their education. We're planning and they're helping each other so we can save more. 
to further her education. Um, she said she wants to um, further to nursing training or nursing college or something. But then I prefer um, university because that one is a degree, not a diploma. So, yo, oh, Nana, Nana. So many masters here say, yeah, yeah, brain. So, I see my immune one. Shall I wear him, yeah, ma? There be a little if things become better for us, Yamicha should not make any mistake of betraying me. I would not want to see him going for another woman. We have struggled together. But for me, no, because I'm willing even to die for this lady. I actually like her and I love her so much. I will never, and this will be a testimony. This will be actually one of the biggest testimony ever in the world. I'm gonna watch over her. I will actually marry her so soon, very soon, before she even continues her education. And then um, I promise, I promise her firstly, so I'm not gonna like go just beyond or go out of that business. Though their relationship is only three years old, the lady says it is more profound to help her man to grow in wealth than to drain him into poverty. It is said that loving and being loved unconditionally means taking a leap of faith. So the measure of love is to love without measure. That is why Esther and Samuel have been lovers unconditionally and the greatest gift they want to give each other is the space to be themselves without the threat of any of them leaving. A report by Mohammed Nuruddin. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey.